junk lumber right here, which was given to me for free. And I will show you how we can turn this into good, valuable quarter sawn lumber. All right, guys, first of all, it's about wood selection and how we can get the most for our money because we're going to get some lumber pretty cheap at the hardware store, whether it be Menards or Lowe's or Home Depot or wherever it is you're going. You can even go to a normal standard lumber, lumber mill. So what you need to look at is the edge grain of your board. So I got a one by four here as an example of what not to buy when you want to get make out and get um, quarter sawn lumber cheap. So we don't want to get a thin wood, narrow wood this way necessarily. So we'll take a look at this grain and you can kind of see the sides here. Have we come down like this? Okay, so that's not going to make really good quarter sawn lumber because this is not quarter sawn lumber. This is flat sawn lumber or plain sawn lumber depending on how you uh, look at it. You're going to want to look at the wide lumber, 1x12s, 2x12s or something along those lines and you want to get the part out of the middle. So I got a, one, a two by eight over here that was actually given to me from Menards. And being 2021, beginning of the year, <sighs> lumber is gold. Okay, so they gave me this two by eight because, well, right here. See the structure crack right there. So I got this for free and it's the prime example of what you want for cheap quarter sawn lumber. So I got this for free and uh, I'll, t I'll tell you the value of this board. I never calculated it and what we actually get out of this board. I'll calculate it. I'll put it on the screen of what the value of this is in quarter song versus what that would have been if it didn't have the crack and I had to pay for it. Okay, so this is why this was given to me for free. So we'll actually just take this board. We could cut it or we can put our feet down here like this and I can see if I just break it off. So this is the trick right here, right here. I'm very excited about this because I'm showing everybody this. This is amazing. So this, this was given to me for free. This 2 by 8 is, I'm going to guess, about $50, $60 worth of quarter cell lumber versus a $10 board. But I, again, like I said, I'll put the figures down at the bottom. But anyways, so this was given to me. I wouldn't have bought a 2 by 8 I would have bought a 2 by 12 for this scenario. But if you look at this, this is the center of the tree. That's what you're looking for is the center of the tree or something really, really close. So if you can get a 2 by 12 the center of the tree for whatever 2 by 12 is here with all this inflation going on probably seven hundred dollars and uh we need to get looking for this and what we're going to do is we're going to cut this a certain way to turn this into quarter sawn lumber come with me and i'll show you how to do it okay so i um i cut off the broken part here so i have something safe to work with and I'm going to make two strategic cuts. And I'm going to make those cuts now. Then I'll show you why I made those cuts. Okay, now imagine this was a 2x12, you would have two, almost 2x5s, uh, if it's quarter saw number. So now we can look at this. One more close up here and I'll show you exactly what I did. So I cut this center part out right here. This little guy right here is the garbage that's going to make your board warp. So remove that. What we're left with is good quarter sawn uh, pine lumber. So I got rid of a, a, one, a one one inch wide piece lever down the center of this whole board. And I got free, almost free. Actually, I did get free quarter sawn lumber because <laughs> Menards gave it to me. So that's kind of cool. Um, now we're ready to build some furniture with this right here. We can plane this down, mill it. I'm going to turn this into a good quality sign at footsteps for footsteps.com. But whatever you guys want to do with that, build Build some furniture, or maybe some deck furniture, patio furniture, stand it up real nice, put some shellac on it, be really, really good stuff. But anyways, that's a really, really cheap way to get quarter saw lumber if you select your lumber appropriately. 
you can go to your hardware store and do the same thing with oak or mahogany or cherry lumber. You can go get plain sawn from the sawmill and turn it into quarter sawn lumber like that with selective choosing of how to choose your lumber. If you guys find this tip at all useful, because I know that it's going to save you at least 80% on your quarter sawn lumber purchases. But if you find this at all useful, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe. You just hit that little logo right there. Put your mouse over, your finger over it, and uh, click on that, and it'll subscribe to my channel. And I would really appreciate it. Again, I'm Jay, and this is my to-do list. Thanks for stopping.